Are you aware that following your deposition in this case, the court entered an order compelling Coulter Signature Homes and Heathrow Oaks LLC to produce additional records to the plaintiff? I say that again. Are you aware that following your deposition, the court entered an order in this case compelling Coulter Signature Homes to produce additional records to the plaintiff? I don't think I was aware. I mean, I'd, would that have come to me? Are you aware of that? Are you aware of the fact that the court entered an order against Coulter requiring them to produce additional records to the plaintiff? I, I'm not sure I really understand the question. More, obviously, than we had produced previously. Correct. I don't think I'm aware of that order. Did Coulter maintain a website in 2013? Yeah. I, I think we did, yeah. Let me show you a copy of the court's order. that was entered following a hearing on February 23rd, 2022, the day after your deposition, that was entered by the court on March 7th of 2022. Are you marking that as an exhibit? Yes. It's exhibit 170. You see at the top, the title of this document that we've marked as Exhibit 170 is Order Granting Plaintiff's Motion to Compel Compliance with Court Order Dated September 2nd, 2021 against Coulter Signature Homes, LLC and Heathrow Oaks, LLC, docket number 1310. Yes. Okay. DSC number one says, within 20 dates of the date of the hearing held on February 23rd, 2022, defendants Coulter Signature Homes and Heathrow Oaks, LLC shall produce the following to the plaintiff. And then A within that list is all marketing materials related to the Grand Oaks at Heathrow project from Coulter's website, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram accounts. Do you see that? Yes. Would you agree that the document you marked as Exhibit 171 is a printout of Coulter's website? Objective form. It, it looks like it, yes. Okay. And you're familiar with what the website used to look like? Form. <clears throat> Generally. Okay. This from, does the document that we've marked as Exhibit 171 match your familiarity with what the Coulter website used to look like? Form. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. You see how there's a, on the middle of the page, there's a note, opening fall 2013? Yes. And at the bottom of the page, there's, it looks like a trademark, and it says, or copyright rather, um, down here at the bottom, do you see that? Copyright? Where? All the way at the bottom, in the middle. Oh. Um, it's got a C surrounded by a circle, that's generally the copyright. Oh, order, right? okay, yes. And so it says copyright 2012 Coulter Homes LLC? Yes. Okay. So this would be a printout from the 2012 website from Coulter Homes, would it not? It appears as though it is, yes. Can you explain why Coulter Signature Homes, following the court's order, didn't produce a copy of this website page to the plaintiff? Form. I don't know. Okay. 
This page on this website is marketing the Grand Oaks of Heathrow townhomes, is it not? Form. Yes. Okay. Do you see here where underneath the photographs in the middle of the page, as part of its marketing on the website from Culture Signature Homes, the company makes the statement, the gated community is completely maintenance free and features two and three story townhomes? Form. That's what it says. Okay. So during its marketing of the Grand Oaks at Heathrow townhomes, Culture Signature Homes marketed the townhomes as completely maintenance free to buyers. Form. That's what this says, yes. At the top, you see underneath where it says, please register for updates. There's the first yeah. sentence can, in the Can we go paragraph? back to the maintenance free though? I, I think we've used this and it says the community is gate maintenance free. And that's because all the common areas and um, things like that are taken care of by the association. And the individual units are have certain maintenance responsibilities too that are delineated. So I, I just want to make clear that you know we try to say our communities are maintenance free. That's not what this says, right? This says completely maintenance free and features two and three story townhomes, right? It says the gated community is completely maintenance free, yes. And the community includes the buildings within the community, does it not? Four. They are in the community, yes. Okay. So the description that you just gave explaining the difference between the common areas and the buildings, that's not contained in this marketing material, is it? Four. No. Okay. Do you see the first sentence in the written paragraph where it says, looking for a new home in the Orlando area question? Yes. And then the next sentence is, proudly built by Coulter Homes, Grand Oaks at Heathrow appeals to discerning home buyers with a gated community, spacious townhome floor plans, two car garages, and an amenity rich clubhouse? Yes. Are you still proud of the townhomes that you guys built at the Grand Oaks at Heathrow? Is Coulter still proud of the work that it did? Form. There are clearly some issues that we could have done better. So I'm going to show you another document here that we've marked as Exhibit 172. You see there's the same copyright 2012 Coulter Homes from Coulter Homes' website on this page? Four. Yes. Okay. And this would be another page from Coulter Signature Homes' website marketing the Grand Oaks at Heathrow Townhomes, would it not? Form. I mean, it looks like it, yes. Okay. Can you explain why this website page was not produced to the plaintiff in response to the court's order? Form. I don't know. Okay. Do you see here on this website page where um, at the bottom of the area where you see the text at the top, there's the sentence, no detail has been overlooked? Yes. Did Coulter Signature Homes overlook some details at, Col at the construction of the Grand Oaks at Heathrow Townhomes? Form. Like I said, there were things we could have done better, yes. Okay. But you marketed the townhomes as no details been overlooked and completely made things free and details were overlooked. Could have been better. Yes.
going to show you another document that will mark as Exhibit 173. Do you see the sentence on Exhibit 173 where Coulter on its website Again, with the copyright date of 2012, states Coulter knows that home buyers don't just purchase a new home, they purchase a dream and a lifestyle. Um, where, where are you reading from? Sure, so you see where it has the first sentence throughout our history? Yes. And the next sentence starts with Coulter? Yes. So, fair to say that on its website, Coulter marketed its communities in the southeast United States, which would include the Grand Oaks at Heathrow townhomes, would it not? Form. They're southeast United States, yes. Okay, so on its website, Coulter marketed its properties in the southeastern United States as stating, Coulter knows that home buyers don't just purchase a new home, they purchase a dream and a lifestyle. Form. That's what it says, yes. And then Coulter continued on its website. With that in mind, Coulter's home building team strives to deliver the most exceptional value for the new resident and surrounding community. Yes. Do you see lower down the page where it states that there's a dedication to quality construction and customer service by Coulter? Yes. Do you think that Coulter lapsed in its dedication to quality construction and customer service in the construction of the Grand Oaks at Heathrow townhomes? Form. I mean, there were clearly some construction problems. I don't know about the customer service aspect of it, I don't think we have, but. Do you see down on the page a little bit further where it says, Coulter Homes is just one division of the parent company, Coulter Group, L the Coulter Group LLC? Where are you? Last paragraph, first sentence. Yes. And that's the entity within the Coulter system of entities that directly employs you, the Coulter Group LLC, right? Form. Yes. For We're now off the record. The time is 10:12 a.m. What was our? We're now on the record. The time is 10:22 a.m. So I'm going to show you another document that will mark as Exhibit 174. Okay. Can we, what is Exhibit 174? Looks like uh, it says our. Uh, Coulter Homes Construction Manager's Handbook. A construction manager is the internal term at Coulter for the superintendents on site. Four. Mm. That would cover them, yes. So like for example, this would be a manual that you would have expected um, Mario Manza and Steve Bovio to follow during their work on the project. Four. Yes, I, I don't know when it dates from, but I, this project started in, I don't know, 2006, I think. But yes, if this was in existence at the time, yes, they, I would have expected that. 
Do you know when um, Coulter Homes first produced this manual? I don't know. Would it have been before the project was completed at Grand Oaks? I, I'm, I would suspect it was before the project was completed, yes. Okay. Um, do you know if there were any previous versions of a manual like this before this one? I don't know. Okay. I want to turn to the, past the cover page, the second page. At the top it says, Coulter Homes Construction Procedures. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. Do you see that underneath the heading, Coulter Homes Construction Procedures, the manual for the construction managers or superintendents states, in order to be successful, we must effectively manage each of our systems and procedures throughout the entire construction process. The following are the processes that will ensure a quality product and superior customer satisfaction. Yes. And then it provides a list of items one through 10. Yes. Okay, and number three on the list, the first sentence of number three states, all homes will be walked and inspected daily for quality. Yes. Okay. So if the superintendents didn't walk every single home that was in construction at the Grand Oaks at Heathrow Townhomes, they would have been violating the company's internal procedures? Form. I don't know. I mean, some homes have no construction progress during a day, so for them to be walked when nothing's going on. But generally speaking, they were required to walk them as construction progressed. What about this sentence here at the end? Remember, every house, every room, every day. Form. I'm still, I mean, <laughs> if nothing had gone on, I wouldn't have required them to do it. Let's turn to the next page if we can. See where at the top it says construction manager handbook? Yes. It says goal? Yes. And then the first bullet point, what does the first bullet point under goal say? I am yeah, if you the, can read that. The construction manager's goal is to expedite and improve the efficiency of the construction process through professional planning and execution of all scheduled activities. The construction manager provides a coordination and leadership of all the individual subcontractors focused on fulfilling the owner's scope of work, quality control, time management, and cost. So one of the expectations that Coulter would have for its construction managers or superintendents is that they provide coordination and leadership over all of the individual subcontractors on a project like Grand Oaks? Form. Yes. Let's go down. You see the section where it says, who is your customer? Yes. Do you see where in this section it states that the construction managers will also have the responsibility for creating and fulfilling a construction process that creates a homeowner for life, which is bold and in quotes, experience? Form. Yes. Do you think Coulter Signature Homes effectively completed its mission of creating homeowner, a homeowner for life experience at the Grand Oaks at Heathrow Project? Form. I, we've tried to do that on all of our projects. Okay. Do you think Coulter failed to do that here? Form. I don't know. So let's turn to the next page here. See where it has the head, heading scheduling? Yes. Okay. And then underneath that, there's a bullet point for Build Pro? Yes. Okay, that's the system that Coulter would have used for scheduling on the project? At form.
I don't know. I, they should have, yes, we should have. And I think we did. Okay. Do you know if that was the only system that Coulter used for scheduling on the project or whether um, during the earlier time frame of the project there was a different system being used? I don't know. There may have been. Is Build Pro the current system that Coulter uses still? I believe it is. Okay. Do you see underneath the Build Pro section here, there's a list of Roman numerals from I to VII? Yes. Okay, and do you see on Roman numeral seven, it says quality checklists? Yes. Okay. Would Culture Signature Homes have expected that its superintendents or construction managers would have completed quality checklists using the Build Pro software during the construction of the Grand Oaks and Heathrow townhomes? Form. I mean, if they were using this system, yes. Okay. And you see where it says underneath quality checklists, number one says phase sign-offs before a completed task can be performed? Yes. So would that mean that you would expect that the construction manager or superintendent would inspect the work of each subcontractor to see if it's completed before the next phase and next subcontractor can come on the project to perform their work? Form. I mean, there's, sometimes there's overlap, so, but generally speaking, they should have signed off on the phases. Okay. Um, Going down, do you see the heading construction processes? Yes. Okay. Do you see number four under construction processes where again we see the statement from Coulter? Yes. All homes will be walked and inspected daily for quality? Yes. And then the next sentence, remember every house, every room, every day? Yes. And every is capitalized, bold, and underlined? Yes. All three times? Capitalized, bold, and underlined all three times in that sentence? Yes. Okay. Let's move on to the next page. Do you see item 12 on the next page? Uh, I'm sorry, item 12. Yes. Mm -hmm. What does item 12 on this page state with respect to the responsibilities of the construction manager and Coulter's um, construction manager's handbook? Form. <clears throat> you want me to read the? Yes, sir. Uh, it is the construction manager's responsibility to ensure that all work is 100% complete and is cleaned up prior to payment approval. Under no circumstance should incomplete or incorrect work be approved. Okay. Do you think that Coulter's construction managers made mistakes on the Grand Oaks at Heathrow Townhomes by approving of incomplete or incorrect work? Form. I think there were some instances where there was incorrect work. I don't have any further questions for you this morning with the caveat of there are still documents that have not been produced by Coulter in response to the various court orders that the court has entered. And so we've moved to compel that discovery and we'd reserve our right to continue your deposition pending Coulter's compliance, if ever, with the requirements of the court's orders. There are several lawyers on the Zoom. They have a right to ask you questions, John. So we're going to hand it over to whoever wants to go under the Zoom or whoever's on the Zoom.